This started as a poor man plot uh, back in 2015, I think. 2000, I believe it was. And it got to be too overwhelming. There was, there was a number of big trees in here, and once we got everything cut down and tried to drag it off, it was bigger than what we could do with just hand equipment. So I brought a tractor in here. Uh, Chad Lathrop came in here with a, um, a skid steer with a root hoe on it and tore all the roots out, or the stumps out. So it ended up you know, being a little bit more involved than a typical poor man plot. But this is an awesome little spot down in this valley. It's about an acre in size, completely surrounded by timber. It's the kind of a location that you would expect a buck to move through at any time during the day during the rut. And like I said, I did kill a buck here the 1st of December back in 2017, the last day of the early archery season that year. Uh, so it's, it's got some history, but let's go through the timeline now. I started the first year that we planted or, or seeded this uh, was frigid forage plowed on clover. We broadcast seeded that in the spring of 2017 and in the, in the summer of 2017, we tilled that in which is the idea behind plow down clover. It has a lot of nitrogen content, and when you incorporate it into the ground, it's really good for feeding the big and beastie. So in the summer of 2017, we tilled down the plow down clover, planted it to big and beastie, had a really nice full crop of big and beastie down in here in 2017. And then rather than tilling it again during the winter, uh, so it had been really early in 2018, say maybe um, February or March of 2018, I came in here and frost seeded the Pure Trophy Clover, which is Bridget Forage's uh, premium clover blend. And that did really well. I mean, last summer was the first establishment year for the clover. And you can see here we are in 2019 and it looks you know, pretty complete. It's still gonna fill in a little bit more, but uh, a really cool rotation cycle for a food plot. When this clover starts to play its way out, it'll be another year or two, it'll start getting kind of spotty and, and you know, not as nearly as uh, healthy as what it is now. It'll be time to till it in again and start over with the big and beastie, rotate back into frost seeding the clover. So it's just a, a really good cycle for going between uh, big and beastie and clover. So today uh, I'm just going to maintain it. It needs to be mowed at some point, not yet. Uh, you can see the clover is doing really well, but there's a lot of sunlight reaching the clover. So I don't need to go in here and clean up the weeds just yet, but I'd say within you know, a few weeks to a month, I'll definitely have to mow this to clean up all the uh, broadleaf weeds that are starting to come in to compete with the clover. So I'm just going to hit it with the, the maintenance level of lime like we talked about in the last spot, hit it with some fertilizer, and then move on. But I thought you'd get a kick out of the plow down plot, a little bit of a history lesson on, on uh, how this plot was created, and then the, the rotation cycle of what I planted in here and how that works.